Now that you know what classes you want to take for your first semester, it's time to start building your schedule. I'll walk you through the process of creating a schedule, and throughout the video, I'll share important tips for building a better schedule and being prepared to enroll in your courses. We will be looking at Schedule Planner. You can access Schedule Planner through your Cal Central. Go to the My Academics tab and Class Enrollment card. Click on Schedule Planner and then click Organize and Preview your upcoming semester. Schedule Planner is a tool to help you plan your courses and create a schedule that you can put in your shopping cart. Make sure that the correct term in which you are enrolling is selected. If not, select Change. Choose the correct term, then Save and Continue. We want to point out a useful feature in Schedule Planner, Course Status. If you click Change, you can limit the courses you are shown to only the ones that are open, open and full with waitlist, or open and full. We suggest open and full with waitlist to give you the most flexible options. Click Save. To start making your schedule, click Add Course. Our sample first semester schedule is Math 1A, Chemistry 1A and 1AL, Engineering 92, and a Reading and Composition A course. For us, that's going to be Chicano Studies R1A. First, let's add courses to your desired course list. You can search courses by specific subjects like Math or Chemistry. Under Select Subject, use either the pull-down option or enter Math in the subject box. Then use either the pull-down option or enter number 1A in the course box. Click Add Course. After you add the particular course, it should show up under your Courses menu on the right. When you have completed adding all the courses you want, you can click Done or navigate back with your browser. Now that you have a list of desired courses, you can click on Generate Schedules to see the different possible schedules you can select from. Notice that Schedule Planner was able to generate over 1,000 possible schedules with your class combinations. You can quickly compare schedules by choosing a few schedules and then clicking on Compare. Or you can view the schedule in more detail by clicking on View. You can easily toggle through schedule options in the View mode by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. You'll notice that some of the options do not have big changes. It's just a room change or time change for one discussion section. During your appointment time to register for classes, this is where you'll have the most changes in your chosen schedule due to the number of students registering around the same time as you and why you'll need to have a backup schedule. You can narrow the number of schedules generated by locking courses from the generated schedule view. If you lock a discussion section, it will also lock the lecture that is linked. Once you lock a course, you will get a green bar telling you that the number of available schedules has changed. I locked Chemistry 1AL and Math 1A, and this dramatically decreased the number of possible schedules generated from over 1,000 to 108. You can also narrow your search by clicking on the options icon from your list of courses and then only selecting the lecture lab that you want. First, you will uncheck all of the courses and select each individual class that you would be interested in taking. Then save and close. This is important. There are two I buttons for each course. One is on the main page of Schedule Planner and when clicked, it gives a brief description of the course. If you would like to know more information about a course, whether seats have been reserved for specific students and general notes about the course, you can click on the Options button and then the I button. Why would you need to know this? Let's use CS61A as an example. If you end up on a waitlist, but the course shows that there are still seats available, check here to see if there is a reserve cap. Courses may reserve seats for specific main majors or number of terms in attendance. Some courses, like CS61A, also have enrollment notes with information about the lab and discussion sections for the course. In the case for 61A, it is that all students will choose Discussion Section 999 and Lab Section 999A, and the assignments for actual discussions lab times will be assigned or chosen closer to the first day of class. Other options for planning your schedule include giving yourself a break during the day. You can schedule breaks during certain days or times by clicking on Add Break. Let's add a lunch break into the sample schedule. Name your break, adjust the start and end times, select which days of the weeks you'd like the break to be on, and click Add Break. Click Generate Schedules to see the updated schedules with your added lunch break. There is also an Advanced Options button that gives you the opportunity to put some padding between your classes. Know that each class will automatically begin 10 minutes after the start time. This is known as Berkeley time. So even though courses look like they may be back to back, such as 8 to 9 a.m. and then 9 to 10 a.m., it is actually 8 10 to 9 a.m. and 9 10 to 10 a.m. You have 10 minutes to get from one place to the next. In the View screen, when you find a schedule that you like, click Send to Shopping Cart. Click OK. This brings you to a page where it tells you how you can complete your course enrollment. You will need to go to your Cal Central, go to the My Academics tab, and Class Enrollment card. Under Class Enrollment, to access your shopping cart, click on Choose Classes. Click on Import Cart. This will import each course one at a time from your Schedule Planner to your shopping cart. 
As you import each class, click on Waitlist if class is full. Doing this step now will make it easier later on when you are actually enrolling in courses, because if a course is full, you'll get an error message and won't be added to the waitlist. However, by clicking it now, if the course is full, you will be automatically added to the waitlist. Click Next and repeat the steps until all your classes have been imported. You will enroll in classes starting in mid-July after the proposed schedule you submitted to your advisor has been reviewed. Find your enrollment appointment time to the right of the class enrollment heading. During your appointment time, you will complete your enrollment by clicking the check box next to each course you want to enroll in and clicking Enroll. Remember, you can enroll in up to 17.5 units during your first enrollment phase in July. You will be asked to confirm classes and then click Finish Enrolling. Congratulations! You will have successfully enrolled in courses for your first semester at UC Berkeley. Once you've decided on a schedule, it will likely change over the few weeks between when you selected a perfect schedule and when you register. We've said a few times that you need a backup schedule and or backup courses. Once you've sent courses to the cart, you will now have a list of courses in your shopping cart on the Schedule Planner homepage. You can add more courses to the course section. Let's add Theater, Dance, and Performance R1A. To generate a new schedule with the backup R1A course, select it from the course list and only Math 1A, Chemistry 1A and 1AL, and Engineering 92 from the shopping cart. You will get a warning when leaving a course or courses that are in your shopping cart off the list of courses to consider when generating a new schedule, but this is okay. You're making a backup schedule. Click Generate Schedules and you'll get six more schedules to choose from. When one of those looks good, send it to the shopping cart and import the new courses. Now you have a backup R1A course in your shopping basket. You can have as many courses, your perfect schedule courses and backups, as you would like in your shopping cart. Just make sure that when you're enrolling, you only choose the ones that you currently want to enroll in. If you decide to delete a course from your shopping cart, this has to be done on the shopping cart page, not schedule planner. To update the shopping cart on the schedule planner page after deleting the course, navigate to the shopping cart page, from there, you'll have to click on the Schedule Planner button and then click on Click Here to open the Schedule Planner pop-up window. Make sure to turn off the pop-up blocker in your browser if the page isn't opening. Enrollment information is constantly changing and a perfect schedule today may not be a perfect schedule when you're ready to enroll as discussions, labs, and or lecture sections may fill up between now and then. This is why it's a good idea to have optional courses in your shopping cart or in your schedule planner so that on your enrollment day, you have these options ready to enroll if one of your planned classes is full.